Hello everyone. So today I'm going to teach you how to easily solve a Rubik's Cube. Usually you go online and try to look at those videos and they have all those algorithms. And um, some people think the algorithms are too hard. So today I'm going to try and teach you how to solve a Rubik's Cube with no algorithms. And I'll try and show you all the scenarios you will have when solving a Rubik's Cube. The first thing you, you want to know when you're trying to solve a Rubik's Cube is all the parts to the Rubik's Cube. So these are going to be the middle pieces, the ones that are, uh, are in the middle here. These are going to be the edges, the ones on the side. So let's find a white edge is right here. And these are two white middles. And these are just the middle piece, uh, the middles of the cube. They aren't going to move. So I can't move this middle to, to this middle. Like it can't go on the board here. It always stays here. And it's always going to be opposite from another color. So white is opposite from yellow. Green is opposite from blue and orange is opposite from red. So now let's get started. So we're going to start with the white cross. So all these white middle pieces should be filled in on the white side. So to do that, you're going to hold your cube with the white side facing up. And you're going to find these middle, middle pieces. So I see a middle piece right here, and it's, um, and it's blue and white. We're going to look for that. We're going to look for the color right here and the white on the bottom. So we have blue. We're going to align it with the blue, um, with the blue middle piece. And then all we have to do is turn it so the whites are aligned and the blues are aligned. And that is just one scenario you'll have. You'll have. It'll be easy to turn it and move it. This is another scenario you will have. The white is on top and the orange is on bottom. So we're going to do the same thing, take it to the orange part, but we can't just go like that to insert the white on the white face. We have to, um, do a simple um, move to get the white uh, thing around to the orange. So all we're going to do is face with the white face facing up and the orange face towards us, the one that we want the orange towards, and we're going to do this uh, move. We're going to turn the white to the right Turn the right side upwards, and now we have this, so we turn it back here. If you didn't catch that, let me do it again. You turn the white to the right, bring this orange back up, and then place it in like you would usually do. And now we're just going to do that with the rest of ours. So we have the green and the white. We're going to bring that to the green side, then place it in. And now we have another one's, one of the complicated ones where we just bring it to the right, bring that red up, and place it in. And you see our blue went away here, but if we turn the cube, our blue is still lined, so we can put that back up. This might be a scenario you will have. You're going to, so we see our red and our white. We have to turn this to the right, bring that up, and we would place it in, but it takes away this green one. As you see, this one didn't have a match already. So we're fine with just placing that in there and then finding the green match. So once you solve your white cross, it might look like this. There might just, or there might just be a cross, 
or there might be just some whites filled in. But you don't have to worry about that because all we're going to do is fill in our whites. So to do this, we're going to look for our edge pieces. So the ones that touch the edge. And so as you see here, none of them are actually on top here, so we can do our thing. Let me show you what, it, um, what you usually do. So we have white here that we need to place somewhere on the board here. And we look for the piece next to it. It's either going to be on the right or to the left next to it. And we see that that's blue. So all we're going to do is turn this to the blue side so it's diagonal from the blue. And then we do this. We turn, we, we have our white face facing upwards. And we, so we turn our white to the left, bring the, this middle white down, and bring our white back over, and place it in again. So if you're trying to f uh, finish the white side, but you have your white one that you need to fill in on the left side, then you simply do the same thing you did for the white on the right side. But you turn, you have your, you have your white face facing upwards, and you have your white, white edge that you need to put in here facing to the left and facing you. And this is how you do it. You turn your white to the right, bring the left whites down, turn your white back, and bring those whites back up. So now you see there are no more whites on the board where you can just do that simple thing. You'll have to actually do um, another move to get the whites down there so you can do it. First, we'll start with our white that's on the bottom here. We're going to find this white on the bottom and find a blank space to put it under. So now we have our white under the blank space. And we do this. We bring our whites down. We don't turn to the left or turn to the right. We just bring our whites down and turn uh, twice anyway. We can turn twice this way or turn twice this way. But either way, your white's going to be down here now. And now we just do our uh, regular move. We see the orange, we align it diagonally, and we place in our white. So since this white is on the left, we're going to um, move it to the right this time. So have your white face facing upwards, move your white to the right, bring that blank space that you want filled in uh, down, place in your white, and bring the space back down. And now you see your color is now filled in. Your, um, your top one that was now up here is down. So if you're trying to fill in the whites, but you have a white up here, and you need to get it down, you simply hold your white to whatever way it's facing. So if my white is on the right here, I don't want to hold it like this so the white's not facing me. I want the white to face me. And I simply do this. I bring that down, turn it once to the right since it's on the white side, and then I bring that up and it's right here. If you don't understand it, how, to, how to bring your white down when it's on the left, just simply do this. It's basically the same thing, but you hold it so the white is facing you and the top white face is facing up and you bring that white down, turn it to the left since it's on the left, bring that white up 
and now you have your white here, and you simply do your same placement. Now we're on to the second layer. The second layer is one of the easiest parts for, uh, of solving the Rubik's Cube. So you're going to do your same thing, like you're going to match the blue up with the blue, and you're going to have to look at this bottom color. Once you see this bottom color is orange, you want to go to the opposite way. You want to go, you want to bring this to the red side, since orange, the, since the red is opposite from the orange. You want to bring the orange, the blue side over to the orange opposite, so red. Bring it to the left, bring this down, bring it back, bring this up. And now we just do our regular alignment, and it's already lined up, so we just place it back in. Bring that to the right, bring the whites down, and place it in. Now we have that here. So now we're going to find our other parts. So we find the blue, and we have to do red's opposite. So we have red here, red here, we do opposite, which is orange. Bring this down, so we have this to the opposite, we bring it to the side, bring these whites down. So once you have your opposites, you're always going to bring the opposite side down. Like if you turn it to the right, you're going to bring the lefts down. If you turn it to the left, you're going to bring the whites down, the rights down. So we turn it to the right, since this is opposite, bring these lefts down, bring that white over, and bring that up. And now we do a regular placement. Bring that to the left, bring those whites down, bring that white over, and place it in. Now we have that matched up. This is another scenario you might have. You don't have any correct pieces to place it in with. So all you're going to do is take a random piece and put it up here. So we do the same thing. We don't even look at the bottom. We can bring it to any side. We can bring it left or right. It's your choice. But I'm going to bring it to the right, bring the left down, bring that over, bring those whites up, and do my normal placement. Now we have that piece down and this piece in. So we can get that piece over here. So it's orange, so we do opposite. And we're going to get this piece down. So we do opposite, which is red. Bring those lefts down. Bring that to the right. Bring it up and do our normal placement. Now we just need to place this one in that we got down. Opposite. Bring that down. Bring that back over and do our normal placement. Now you have the whole second layer finished. When you have finished solving the second layer, it might look something like this. There's just a dot in the middle for the yellow side. And this is just one of the scenarios you might end up with. We'll get to the other scenarios. But this is the dot. So to solve the dot and get to the second scenario that you should have, you need to do this out. Uh, this method. Um, you can hold it anyway because the dot is still a dot and you you face the yellow upwards and you can hold it anyway and you do this. You turn the right uh, the face facing you clockwise bring this side of whites up bring that to the side bring that down Bring this back over and bring that down. Now what you'll have will probably look something like this. You'll have this L shape. No matter where it is, you'll have this yellow L shape. And so since ours is right here, we, we're going to hold this side of the L so the, the end of it is facing us. And then, then we're going to do the same thing we did with the dot. But it do, it matters where you where you face it. You can't hold it here, here, or here. You have to hold it 
so the middle parts are facing us. And then you do this. You do the same thing. You do turn face clockwise. Bring that up. Bring that over. Bring that down. Bring the whites back over. And place the whites back in. Now you'll probably have something that looks like a line. So to do the line, you're going to have to hold it horizontally. You cannot hold it vertically because that will mess you up. So you have to hold it horizontally and then do the same thing you did with the L and the dot. You do clockwise, so turn this clockwise, turn these whites up, turn that to the left once, bring these whites down, turn it back so these whites are connected, then turn this down. Now, of course, this is just one of the things that will happen, that it looks like you have the whole yellow side finished. But usually it's just this yellow cross. So right now we need these middle sides to match up. And this is one of the scenarios you'll have. You'll have the orange and the blue matched up. That's good. But you need the red and the green too. So you're going to hold your cube where... This is facing the right side. You can't have this and the right side to the left, or that'll mess you up. So you're going to have to um, do this method. You're going to have to bring the whites up and turn it to the turn it to the left twice. Then bring that back down. Then bring it back to the right once. Bring these back up. Bring it to the bring it to the right again. So you have these whites. Then bring that down. And it doesn't look like it's solved, but with one turn, you have the middle layers um, solved. So now you have to work on getting these yellows filled in. And in order to do that, you need to have these layers on the correct color. So you need to have orange, orange. And uh, orange, yellow, and green here, but we don't. So you need to find a right layer. And right now I have a right layer, but sometimes you won't have a right layer, and we'll get to that later. Okay. And I'll show you how to how to fix that. But this is a right layer right now. You have green, and red, and yellow. It doesn't have to be like this. The green could be here, the yellow could be here, and the red could be here. It just has to be on the same side that it is. So you'll take your right side and face it to the right of you. It's on the right side of the cube. And then you'll do this algorithm. You'll bring the left white up with the yellow facing upwards. You'll bring the left whites up. You'll bring that to the left. Bring the right side up. Bring, these, bring this white back to its column. Bring those whites down. Bring it to the bring the, this white back and put it back down. But remember, you have to realign your middle layers because if you don't realign, it's going to mess you up. So you have to realign your middle layers. So it's not solved yet. So we have to keep doing that same algorithm to um to get the rest of these solved. So we bring the left up, turn to the left. Bring the right up, turn to the right. Bring the left down, turn to the left, bring the right down. Then we align. And it won't it won't always be solved like this all the time when you do that. Alright, so this is one of the scenarios you will have when you're trying to fill in the yellow sides. None of them are filled in for you yet. So what you're going to do is take one of your solved sides and you're going to face the yellow that you want in outwards to the right. You don't want it facing to the left. You don't want it facing towards you. You want it facing towards the right. So get one of those that are facing towards the right. It could be either one of these. I'm just going to go with this one. Um, so it's facing towards the right and I do this. 
I bring the white uh, right side up, turn it to the left twice, bring those whites down. Bring that back over, bring these whites up, and place that back in. But you're not done yet because you have to do the left side. Bring those left whites up, bring it to the left twice, put the whites back down, bring that white back over, and place the white back in. Now you might have this scenario, where you don't have any facing outward to the right, so you can't really do anything with it. But that's really not true. You can just take this scenario, since it's like this, and do it with the yellow facing towards you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same thing that I did for, with, for the other scenario. I'm going to bring the right white side up, bring it to the left twice, bring those whites down, bring it back. So I bring these back, bring these back up, place that white in, and put those whites back down. But I do the same thing with the left. So I bring these whites back up, turn it to the left twice, <laughs> bring these whites down, turn it to the left again, bring these whites up, turn it, to, turn it so it's placed in, and then put it back down so the whites are face down. But this is one of the scenarios. You'll have these facing out, all these are solved, and these facing out. You don't want to start like this with the yellow facing towards you for this one. You want to start okay. with this yellow since it's facing outwards. And you want to do this algorithm. You want to bring the right up, bring it to the left twice, bring these whites down, bring it back by turning it to the uh, by turning the top to the uh, right, bring these whites back up and turn it to the right one more time and put this back. I mean to the left twice, sorry. You're going to bring these down, keep going to the left, make sure you keep going to the left or that's going to mess you up, and you uh, bring these back up, and you turn these to the left, and bring these down. So this is one of the scenarios you will have when you're trying to put your yellows in. When you finish this scenario, you'll go on to another scenario that's the last scenario to get them filled up. But to get this scenario finished with, all you have to do is hold your yellow face so that it's facing up and hold your cube so that the yellow, that yellows that you want facing, uh, uh, put in are, are facing you. Um, so like these are in the same row and they're facing you. You can't hold it like this or this or this. Because that will mess you up. You have to hold it like this so that the empty stuff are on the right side of you. So now you do the same uh, method you did for the other scenarios to get these filled in. You go up, bring these whites up, turn it to the left twice, and bring that white down. Now you turn it back by turning the top to the right, bring those whites back up, turn it again, turn the top side again to the right, and bring those whites down. But don't touch your cube, because then you do this scenario. Bring your left whites up, turn to the left twice, bring those whites down, turn to the left again, Bring those whites back up, bring that white down, I mean bring that white over, and bring those whites down. And now you have your last scenario. Alright, this is the last scenario you'll probably have, other than the yellows facing outwards and all the other scenarios. So the yellows are facing to the right right now. If you hold this, the yellows upwards, and your yellows facing to the right, you have this and you just need to place these in because the rest the back should look like this and the rest should look like that 
So now you do the same thing that you did with the other scenarios. Bring the right whites up, turn it to the left twice, bring those whites down. Bring it back to the right, bring these whites up, place that white in, and put those whites down. Now you do the same thing with the left. Bring the left up, bring it to the right uh, twice, left twice. Put that down, bring it to the left again. Put these up, um, place the white back in, and bring it down. So now that you have your solved Rubik's Cube, I hope you guys learned something from this video, and I hope you guys can now solve the Rubik's Cube, and um, don't be afraid to come back and re-watch the video, and um, uh, pause and resume the video when you need to learn something, uh, go back in the video, and if you guys have a scenario that you guys keep getting stuck on, I'll try and help you with that. Just leave it in the comment section, and um, I'll help you. So, if you figured out the Rubik's Cube, great. And if you're still stuck, just leave it in the comment section, and I hope I can help you.